because it's a huge concern for you. Mm-hmm. I am telling you, I don't know how else I can do it. I can't walk out of the front door. You know, you wouldn't want me to do that anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't know how else I can do it. And I know that you say you didn't believe any of this stuff, but I don't know I how. Don't. I know. But I don't know how I can say it so that everyone else will shut the fuck up so that we don't ever have to have these conversations ever again. Well, in our Amber's life, gone, we shouldn't. Is. No, because then the next person will try and use oh. it against I'm saying it'll be Dick or Danielle's thing next. You know, it'll be whenever anyone wants to fuck me over, that's going to be what they're going to do. But th- I mean, those people have never made those kind of comments to me before. So we've um, been the same people, you know what I mean? Amber and... Amber. And Amber. Um, Jen, Amber and Jen. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Because Jen is really on top of things. At least I had an actual conversation about this with Amber. At least I can give her that much. Yeah. Um, which I think you pretty much knew at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, what I'm saying is I don't know how I can say this. You did look cute tonight, by the way. When? Earlier. When? When you guys were playing. You were watching us on the screen? Mm-hmm. I don't know... Thank you. I don't know how to say this. Alright? I explained to you my situation. Mm -hmm. I never made any bones about the fact that it was a confused, weird situation. It's probably a situation that requires a conversation or two when I get out of here. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yep. Um, At the same time, you know what I've chosen and what I've embraced and how I feel and it really says a lot. I'm telling you, we this has been the situation for a year. I've been fully at liberty to I I've been single for a year. And you know, you're the first person that I felt this way about. And is she going to be happy about it? No. No. Um, if I was concerned about that, would I be saying or doing the things that I'm doing? Mm-mm. It's, I, I said all along, is it? Would it be easier if it wasn't on national television? Would it be easier if I could pick up a phone and, you know, be clear anything up that ever needed to be cleared up, you know, so that you would never have a doubt, so no one else would ever have a doubt? I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should stand on the upper balcony of the house and shout it. I don't know if I need to have 15 more diary room sessions than I've already had about it. I don't, I, I don't know what it is that I can say or do. I told you I came up here to, after having that conversation to say word for word, I don't want there to be any questions, any secrets, any confusion. I want you to know where it stands because I do not want you to have any worries. I don't want you to have any doubts. I don't want you to think I'm hiding anything. I don't want you to think I'm lying about anything. I came up here. I told you everything that I could think to possibly tell you. I asked you if there was anything else you wanted to know, if there ever still is right now or any other time. I'm happy to go into it. I explained in detail, in depth, probably over too much detail, you know, as it unfolded. Um, yeah, of course it was a diff- it is a difficult situation for mm-hmm. me. I came to play the game. I have a confusing ass, weirdo, crazy situation that's mm-hmm. gone on for way too long. And then I come here and I meet you. Does this make anything any clearer? You know, <laughs> yes. But do I need to be doing it while playing this game on national television? While not being able to to address things I need to address? No, it's not. It's, it's not an easy situation. 